Gizmo is now playable in multiverses, and with a new character comes a ton of new moves, most referencing back to the Gremlins movies in the 1980s and 90s. The plan today is to show you all the references I've found and a few easter eggs in Gizmo's moveset, and a little about the story of Gremlins, so expect a few spoilers along the way. We have to start with the epic dance emote Gizmo has. Back in the 80s, a scientist found him on the street and took him to a lab, where they discovered, well, see for yourself. So he doesn't get away this time. A reference I'm sure you've already noticed is the box Gizmo springs out of each match. It's from the original film and was the box Gizmo was actually smuggled out in to get out of the store he lived in. He was a gift to this guy's son Billy at Christmas time. His fearful look is seen regularly in the movies as he hides away, like in the Gremlins 2 poster, and an animated version for the video game. Gizmo. Gizmo's first alter tire is a nod to Rambo. At the start of the second film, he sneakily takes the TV remote and starts to watch Rambo, who has explosive arrows. And by the end of Gremlins 2, he dresses up like John Rambo, complete with bow and arrow. The great thing about this attack move is what it's made from. There's a mini montage of Gizmo training before he crafts a bow from a paper clip and a rubber band. And then an arrow from a pencil and tipex, which Google tells me is called correction fluid in the US. He then uses a match to light it and takes out a freaking gremlin that is a spider. Honest truth, if you haven't seen the films, spider gremlins are real. And this whole concept with the explosion is the reason why Gizmo can light popcorn on fire with his arrow. The up attack move sees Gizmo throw popcorn into the air. The funny thing is, he never eats popcorn in the movies, but the gremlins do tons of the stuff. The only reference I could find to this is the movie poster where Gizmo is inside Stripes Popcorn. Gizmo's down attack move lets him bring out a keyboard. When Billy and the Mogwai are getting to know each other, they try to transpose Gizmo's song into piano notes. Gizmo gets involved on the final note before falling into a bin dressed as Santa Claus. Oh, and you know the Santa hat version of Gizmo is definitely coming to the Christmas update of Multiverses. On a side note, there's a couple of Easter eggs here. Whilst playing that piano, it's possible for Gizmo to say these two lines. <laughs> So Gizmo knows both the King of Pop from the 1980s and Beethoven. My guy has a well-rounded musical education. The other musical performance in-game is the Mogwai song. The little dude blasts it out a few times in the movies and it always gets attention. What's he doing? Singing. He does that sometimes. In-game, the notes aren't the same, they've probably been changed due to copyright reasons. It's a pretty iconic tune, and I doubt I can play it without being copyright struck myself. So, Gizmo has a sports car, in the most masculine of colours, pink. In-game, he can run over enemies, which is pretty strong, and will likely get nerfed soon. In the movie, just like the Rambo reference earlier on, Gizmo watches racing on TV and wants to try it himself, and finds the opportunity in a toy store, no less. He roots around until he finds the toy car. This was created to look as close as possible to Barbie's dream convertible car. I found the original commercial for it. It's a bit old now. Hot shine. Anyway, back to Gizmo racing over to Stripe. The reason why the car can randomly take flight in game is yet another nod to the movie. Traveling at speed, Gizmo hits a snow shovel and flies into the air just like in game. He then lands and takes out Stripe by opening a blind and letting in the sunlight. And as we all know, Stripe is coming to Multiverses soon to get his revenge. Gizmo has the ability to latch onto teammates and follow them around like he's in a backpack. Due to his size, he's always being shown shoved into things in Gremlins, from bags to toolboxes to cages, and of course, backpacks too. To emulate that, he can briefly sit on the shoulder of a teammate and blast out all his moves. Sat on a lantern this time. I guess this is a homage to Chinatown where he originally lived. Offensive stereotypes were big in the 80s. The very best thing about doing this though, there is a small chance that Gizmo will sing this. <laughs> D 
you recognize it? It's New York, New York. And if you've seen Gremlins 2, you'll know that one of those creatures gets the ability to speak. I think there are some fascinating ramifications here for the future. And sings New York, New York with countless other Gremlins. Saying these things out loud sound weird, but I promise you they are true. Start spreading the news. <laughs> Like all the other characters, Gizmo has unique win and loss animations. When losing, he'll get back in his box and cower away. But the winning emote has more to offer. Gizmo kicks back with popcorn, 3D glasses and enjoys some TV, just like in Gremlins. What makes this extra impressive is the clock behind him. It's almost midnight and if he eats past midnight, he'll become a gremlin. And yeah, I did try wait here for five minutes to see if he ate any of that popcorn after midnight, but as you can see, the minute hand goes back. So no, there's no hidden secret here. When playing as Combat Gizmo, his loss animation sees him a little upset while standing on a box, which happens to be where he got the paper clips from to make the bow. And his winning animation looks to be another Rambo nod as he eats by a campfire. A cool change is using toast on a pencil instead of meat on a knife. Even Gizmo's falling animation is a reference to the movies. He dropped through the sky just like that time he accidentally fell down a hole in the ventilation system. <laughs> Gizmo's roll dodge has been seen a few times before, usually in video games. In the movie though, it was used to show this Mogwai's reveal, a face only a mother could love. Back when games were 2D in all 1980s, the Gremlins 2 video game for Amiga had rolling attacks for the bad guys. And to be a little bit more up to date, in another Warner Brothers multiverse game, Lego Dimensions, Gizmo has this devastating roll attack. Bye bye. And finally, a reference I'm really struggling with, the umbrella. Obviously, it's there to stop Gizmo getting wet, as that will make him produce other Mogwai and multiply. But I couldn't find any visual evidence of him using an umbrella in movies or games. But there's a ton of artwork depicting Gizmo with an umbrella, and it makes sense he'd carry one, you know, just in case. But I wanted more info, so I went down a well of despair on Google and looked up other rainbow umbrellas Warner Brothers have been linked to before. And the only one I could find is from Doctor Who. Could this be a subtle nod to that franchise coming over? I mean, they're in Lego Dimensions at least. Or maybe I'm trying to read too much into this. It's an umbrella, time will tell. So how did I do? Did you catch a reference I missed? Please let me know in the comments. I'm Adam, you're awesome. I'll see you next time. Uh -huh.